Hey y'all, so I am at my house getting ready to leave for the barn and we are going to just go hack Javal. I might do some pull work and we'll see if I can even get any video of it. I just want to get video of me tacking up basically. So kind of like my tacking up routine, I guess. And we'll see if I can throw some clips in there. That depends on if anyone's there to video because my grandpa doesn't really like to video and my grandma's at work today and it is the day before easter also we are at a different barn we are not at fox ridge any longer because they needed my stall so we went ahead and headed out to a different boarding barn here actually close to my house it's like 11 minutes away and we would have just brought jabal back but it's not dry enough yet for me to ride constantly, so we decided just to go to a boarding barn until mid, maybe end of May, depending on when it does decide to dry up. Also, my tree behind me, it is like full of bees, and the flowers on it are really pretty. I'll just give you guys a little peek of the tree. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy today's video, and please like and subscribe. Love you guys. This is the tree. It gets flowers on it before the leaves bloom. And there's bees like all in it. So yeah. One, two, three. I've been running from the pain, trying not to feel the same, but it's a shame that we miss again. See my confidence is shaking and my heart is feeling vacant. So you try to feel it in. You said I could fix a broken in your heart. You were waiting for my grandpa I am going to fold up these pullers if I can even get them untangled I put them in the dryer so they're like knotted like crazy let's see So yeah, I just throw his halter on and then I clip him back here, which he doesn't like, but it's good for him to learn how to stand and tie. He's not happy. But I just wanted to communicate, so I'm not sure if you saw, but you can see his ribs. And right here, he's skinny. Um, so basically, He's just struggling to keep on weight right now. We're not really sure why. Um, we've had the vet check him and stuff. We just had the vet out yesterday, actually. Um, so, he has, basically, he's lost about, it's a lot, 600 pounds. Like It's, like, just below 600 pounds since December. So, he's not doing the best when it comes to keeping on weight. We're hoping it's just stress from moving around because 
I didn't just move him from Fox Ridge to here. We actually moved him to our house, went to a clinic. He came back to our house, went back to the clinic, and then he went here. So he was trailered, like, like multiple times in, in a couple of days. So that had to have stressed him out. Um, he doesn't have ulcers. We've checked for that. Um, we did give him ulcer guard for a few days just to be safe, but the vet did say that he doesn't have ulcers. Um, but yeah, so I just don't want any hate saying that, well, you're not doing a good job taking care of your horse because that's not it. And um, therefore, we're not really jumping him right now. We're more doing stuff that will build his muscle while we're feed while we're also feeding him a lot of hay. He's getting we up to his grain to, to two two scoops twice a day and um plus he gets his supplements and then he gets hay in front of him 24 7 plus he's getting grass some grass outside and alfalfa cubes twice three times a day so yeah um we're trying to do that and he's just getting muscle workouts so we're trying to keep rides below 15 minutes i actually think i ended up riding him for an hour yesterday therefore today it's going to be even shorter so yeah, um, and I'll just go ahead and show you kind of like what he's looking like. And I am working with Buckeye Nutrition. Um, we are not feeding him actual Buckeye Nutrition grain. We are feeding him high gain, but Buckeye Nutrition has been working with us to try to help because, um, they're thinking about sponsoring us. They sponsor my business, but they don't actually sponsor me. So we're trying to fix that. And so, yeah. So he is on Buckeye Feed new Supplements. Then he's on High Gain Grain and stuff like that. Just to try to get his weight up. So I just thought I would communicate that before we actually get into the video. Okay, so first I brush his legs off and then put his polos on along with picking his feet. So I'll go ahead and do that and then show you what it looks like. There's his paws. So now we're gonna give his tail a good brush. I don't know what I'm doing. Never start at the top, guys. Next, I give his butt a good brush, along with like where the saddle goes and his neck, and. I typically don't brush his mane. I'm trying to let it thicken itself out and grow, but I do oil it, but I always do that after I ride so that if I have to grab the mane at any point, I'm not grabbing oily mane. But I'll go ahead and brush him. So next, I go ahead and put the saddle on. Um, I'm not going to film me doing that because I don't really have a good place to set up a camera. But I will show you the finished project. And then after I put the saddle on, I put the bridle on and make sure that everything else is good. And then I take him in the arena, set up whatever I'm going to set up. And um, then I go ahead and get on. So. Yeah, that's basically kind of like my barn routine currently. It's not very, like, it's, there's, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This cat is about to jump on me. Come here. Come on. Come jump on me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I swear if it jumps on me. Okay, but anyways, so, yeah, like I was saying, my barn routine is not really much right now, but it'll be more once he's home, and I'm having to pick out a stall and turn him out and feed him, and all the fun stuff that helps you bond with your horse. Now, let me just tell you, that cat was this close to jumping on me. It would have been so funny to get that on video, but today was not that kind of day. Got the saddle on. We are now walking out of his stall into the arena. And I think I'm just gonna set up cannibals and then just do two shot steps in them. Cause I don't feel like getting off and fixing them after. So I'm gonna be lazy today and do that. 
so anyways um we'll see if i end up getting some clips with me cantering in or just well riding in but yeah um let's go this lighting's gonna suck crap i'm sorry um but i ended up putting a canter pull to canter pull back and then one stride canter pull to canter pull um both directions it's the same but it only can work because to go from canter pulls to one stride and then back to canter pulls it's really going to make him push and be ahead of my leg which is what we're working for right now i didn't do a super super long one though it's like half a step short but yeah i'll just show you guys riding he was more wild than usual today the video that the two videos that i got you can't tell that he's wild because i worked him out of it before anyone videoed but he bucked quite a few times and decided he was going to kick the crap out of the wall and he put a hole in the wall so that was interesting but he was really good today and i'm proud of today's ride but anyways i think thank you for watching today's video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I love you guys. Bye!